Does Bolame Tinibu even care about this country? I'm going to tell you what happened. Look at the people that are actually protesting on the streets today because of hunger and because of the rascalities that is actually happening in the country. And guess what? Bolame Tinibu decided that he wants to go on about two weeks vacation in the United Kingdom, in UK. You know, look at how shameful and how shameless our politicians are. That even world leaders do not even go for vacation in other countries. They stay in their own countries for uh, 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 in their own country for for vacation. But when it comes to the time of Nigeria, they will decide to leave and abandon their country because they know that they've not done any meaningful thing in the country. And that they will keep on running to the western world to go and have their vacation. Look at look at the video playing. It is when Tinibu is actually departing. As of today, he is going to the UK for a vacation. Two weeks vacation. This is what a president is leaving a country that is bedeviled with insecurities, hunger, poverty. People are on the street protesting today in the northern part of the country. People are in the street today pro pro protesting in uh, protesting uh, and bad governance protesting this October. And again, people are in uh, Edo State protesting against the rascalities of this particular government. I'm going to play the series of this video so you could see how this protest is actually going on in the country. And look at Balami Tinibu. He left the country. A sensible government. A compassionate and a, 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 a compassionate government could have said, no, I'm not going to leave this country like this. This is not the time for vacation. This is not the time for jamboree. Of course, you have bought your, your private jet. It's, 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 it's not for you to you know, be moving from here, here to there. Well, let me play the video so you can see the protest that's actually happened in the country. When we come back, we'll try to you know, analyze and dissect more things. I don't agree, I don't allow police pass. <laughs> police, they turn back. <laughs> police, they turn back. They don't agree. Now, from some of the protests, you can see is the one that is actually happening in Edo. Some people in Edo state are saying that the INEC should actually turn back the mandate that that uh, to uh, they should turn back to the, 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 the mandate to as well, you know you had who is the PDP candidate for the just conducted Edo governorship election. You know it is quite funny that after some weeks the election happened. You know uh, they are now protesting. Let me tell you people something that if we don't end this APC, APC will be the end of this particular country because they will never allow any form of democracy to thrive. They will never allow any form of democracy to thrive because they know that they can ring this election, ring this election in state and go score free. They don't care. Look at what happened in the election day. Has any, any of them spoken about it? No. They would rather tell you to go to, uh, to the election petition tribunal. And we know that this, the courts have been bought over by this same party. 
if you go there you are just going to waste your time you are going to waste your resources and every other thing you will never get justice despite the amount of evidence you 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 bring to the court it will never work and they will never reverse that particular judgment that is why apc believe that elections are do a die affair they can do and or do anything to make sure that they win the elections so these adult people that actually protest i don't know what to say i don't know what to say because enough is enough i don't know what to say because one they cannot force uh a, a, any person to you know step down as a stand because that would be undemocratic that would be un- undemocratic the only thing that the constitution of the nigeria of nigeria stipulates stipulates is that they if you if you have any grievances or probably you're not comfortable with the election and with the way the election was conducted that you should approach the court and seek for a a reset a recess or probably and seek for solution there and seek for solution there but they are doing this because they know that there will not be any justice but let me does not care he does not care about the emotions that you went and imposed an APC candidate that did not even interact with the people. People never knew him. Rather, it was his godfather, Oshimola, that was busy campaigning for him. But you people saw the likes of Abata and AI. I mean, as well, you know, he, he had to, you know, nobody, they decided to, you know, uh, 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 make sure that these two people did, did not win this election. Rather, their interest being uh, this particular APC person so that they can be able to win or probably re election in 2027 presidential election. We all know these antics. But let me tell you, I've left the country to go and relax. Well, few, few, as of yesterday or two days ago, World Bank gave us about one billion US dollars loan. So probably there is enough money. Money don't. Uh, uh, this is cash out period. Money has come, so it is now time for him to go for vacation. At least he has bought private jet for himself. He has a, a, a very good yacht and car for himself. And later they will tell Nigerians that Nigerians should keep on managing. What are we managing? That Nigerians should keep on managing. That they should not. Uh, 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 the, that is it's just a matter of time. That everything will normalize. It is a lie. This is just their antique and their style of buying more time, so that they can keep on looting, looting, embezzling, 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 and committing all sorts of rascalities and evil. They know that they are not going to. You know, look at how much is dollar today. It's around one seven. How much is four? Four is around one five. The economy has crumbled, but the president will keep on flying here and there. You, if you cannot, if a president cannot stay or do vacation in his own country, of course, the, the president is, is a complete and a total failure. If they tell you how much this money for this so called uh, Jambori travel is being budgeted for, you wouldn't believe. If they tell you billions of naira that has gone into this so called vacation, you wouldn't believe. If this money is being spent within the country, the money will keep on revolving in the country and at least help our naira to get stronger. No, they, they would rather prefer to carry this because when you go overseas, you have to use our own money to convert to dollar. Then you know, make sure that you are you know improving their own economy over there. Meanwhile, your country is in abject poverty. Look at the level of heartless politicians who have in the country. The level of heartless politicians we have as leaders in this country is is alarming. Is alarming. I can boldly tell you this. For in fact, it's something that a lot of people are shocked about. That is why I'll, I'll keep on speaking about the, the return to regional government because these leaders know that they are not being held accountable, so they can do anything and do anything because they know that they will have supporters that that, that they will deceive with ethnicity and religion to be perpetrating and doing all sorts of evil. Let us return back to regional government. Remember, this regional government has, has started causing a lot of issues, especially in the House of Assembly. It has started causing a lot of issues in the House of Assembly. If you've been following my channel, I've told you guys how you know a lot of southern and northern senators, you know, are having issues over uh, this particular regional government of 18. Northern senators are saying that we don't want regional government, that they don't want it, they don't want it because of why? Because most of them don't want to, you know, be held accountable. Some of them don't want to be held accountable, not even some of them, most of them. Why some certain senators are telling them that this will actually, you know, bring government closer to the people and it will open up for, you know, uh, for, for more improvement and accountability. That that it will, that people will not focus on their regions, manage their resources. And, you know, when you say that you're not generating an, enough revenue, you must be creative. You must be forced to be creative to, you know, to find more ways of generating revenue. And this is what this regional government will do. Accountability. So these corrupt politicians, at least, they just hold their uh, this in accountability. If you are giving one naira or one kobo, people will follow up and note how th- that one kobo is being utilized. But in Nigeria, nobody knows how much is being given to the senators to even pa- ca- ca- carry out any, any project because they will hide. Everybody is wanting to. Everybody is only focused on the seat of the presidency. As of rep members, the uh, constitutional project they are being given. Uh, the same way, ministers and commissioners, we don't know who who and who is losing our money. Because they are hiding and hiding under the umbrella of this unitary form of government to perpetrate all sorts of evil. 
to perpetrate all sorts of evil. And certain senators, and other senators, they know what they are doing. They know it was the food basin of the nation. They pro- there is no agricultural produce that the Northern has never produced. But now they are running and hiding away from regional form of government. You keep on wondering, why are these people scared of this regional form of government? Why are they scared? Why are these people scared of this regional form of government? Because of what? They don't want to be held accountable. They want to keep on embezzling money and keeping people in abject poverty. That is why some of them are sponsoring the insecurities in the northern part of the country. 